The Sephora sets are absolutely out of control this year, but I'm kind of here for it. Welcome back everyone. Today's video is going to be a Sephora focused video and I wanted to talk about some of the holiday sets, the value sets that they have coming out recently. So the Sephora sale is coming up. So before that happens, that's when I start to plan out like my wish list videos, my recommendation videos. I'm looking at the Sephora website. What do I want to buy? What do I want to make sure that I put in my recommendations? And as I was going through the website, I was like, wow, that's a great value set. Wow, that's a great holiday set. Wow, look at that set. Not only was I adding them to my cart, but I was thinking, oh, this would be great to recommend. So I thought, why not just sit down and do a whole video on the Sephora sets? I have loved the Sephora sets for a very long time. Some of my first videos that I was doing on my channel was the Sephora lip sets. I started doing the Sephora mascara sets. I love them and especially around holiday time, I always get really interested in the Sephora sets themselves, but also what the brands are coming out with. And there's a lot of really good ones. There's some misses too, of course, but I really want to focus on the ones that I think are a really good value or have really good products that are a great time to buy, especially during the sale when you have a percentage off. So I will link these down below. I will also create a separate page that will have all of these products linked as well. If you want easy shopping, you can always come back and just click on that page and all of them will populate there. I did also want to go into Sephora for this video and just see what they already have in store, see if I could see what any of the actual product sizes looked like, anything like that. So I'll be including some footage of my little jaunt over to Sephora as well, and hopefully you find that helpful. But I think this might be a little bit of a longer video, so let's jump into the set. I'm not going to go in any particular order. Again, like I said, I'll link everything below, but I just want to touch on some of the ones that really called out to me. So one here is from Ula Henriksen. This is the Disco Duo Pout Preserve Hydrating Peptide Set. So this one is going to be $30. It does say that's available in store only, but this one retails for $30. It says a must have lip set featuring a limited edition pomegranate fizz and best selling citrus sunshine to quickly plump the look of lips with hydration and visibly smooth lines. So it's $30 for the two, or if you get um, the single one, it is $22. And this is a product that I am hearing a lot of hype about. It was one that I actually put on my wish list for myself when I was making that video. That video will be coming up. Recommendations is coming up as well. Uh, but this is one that I put on my wish list because I'm hearing a lot of really good things about it. I love me a good lip treatment. And I don't know, for when it first started getting a lot of hype, I was like, this seems like a really random product. But I do think Ulla Henriksen has always been really good at social media marketing and utilizing influencers and content creators because I was like when this started to take off I was like there's a lot of buzz around a lip treatment and I was like well it's Ula Henriksen they they know what's going on but it does also say it's a best of beauty uh, allure 2024 winner which again I've talked in the past about how these lists can be a little on the sus side. But I hear a lot of people that really love this. Recently, I went to a party where we did a favorites thing event and everyone brought along their favorite product and then we were able to get gifts at the end of everyone else's favorite product. And someone did bring the Ula Henriksen lip treatment. And when I tell you that was snapped up right away and I was actually sad because I wanted to grab it as well, but it did take our turn. And by the time it was my turn, it was already gone. And I was like, okay. So this duo, again, sometimes when it comes to sets that have the same product in there multiple times, like I saw a set from Kosas that was three blushes and I was like, okay, like I thought about including it, but I was like, I don't know, three different shades of blushes. But sometimes what these can be good for is if you have people in your life that you like to give like little stocking stuffers for, sometimes it's like, okay, let me buy something that's four little minis and then I can gift a little mini to my friends, my coworkers, teacher, nail tech, I mean, whatever it may be, right? So that's kind of how I look at this. Like, do I need two of them? Honestly, I'd probably go through them because I use a lot of lip treatments, but maybe it would be nice to gift to a friend or someone in my life as well. All right, next up we have a hair care product. Again, I'm just gonna be kind of all over the place in this video, I hope you don't mind. But from Amika, this is their Next Level Nourishment Signature Hair Routine Set. So this is $54 and it is an $82 value. This says it features full sizes of the Normcore Signature Shampoo and Conditioner plus the Soul Food Nourishing Mask. So I really do like Amika hair care products. I recently have started using their green mask um, in the shower. I saw Abby, she's like a hair influencer, I guess I would say. Abby Young, I think is how you say her last name. Uh, she was really recommending that as a 
uh, like a leave-in mask or a conditioner. And so you betcha, I put that one in my shower right away. Like whatever Abby says, I'm like, okay, I won't put that on my hair. But I really do like the Amika products. I've tried their shampoos. Um, I really do like their dry shampoo. Oftentimes I'm repurchasing their dry shampoo. So if you're looking for like a good value set for your hair, that one at $54 could be a good option for you. Another one with, oh, another one from Amika actually. This is their dry shampoo duo. So this is one that I often tend to purchase myself. I could see myself picking this up in the sale as well. So this is their Perk Up Power Up Dry Shampoo Duo. This one is $30 and it is a $44 value. This one, you get the full size Perk Up Dry Shampoo and also a travel size dry shampoo. I really like that because I do travel quite a bit. So it's nice to have a full size that I can keep at home and a travel size that I can keep in my like on the go travel makeup skincare hair care bag so this is one that i purchased in the past i would i need to do a little quick look at my dry shampoo situation i might have enough right now but if not that is one that i would repurchase another hair product this one is from olaplex the get your shine on frizz control hair styling value set so this one is 42 dollars and it is a 60 dollars value so this one is a limited edition set you have the number six bomb smoother frizz control styling hair cream which i really do like and it's a full size and also a full size of their hair oil and i really do like this hair oil it's one that i've gone through myself again this one is 42 dollars olaplex does have more pricier products i would say for hair care so if you're looking to try them out or if these are some of your favorites and you want to uh, repurchase them could be a good time from gisu another hair product we have the honey gloss hydration heroes hair value set this one is $88 and it is a $122 value. So this set has the honey infused hydrating hair mask, also the hair oil, the hair perfume, and the hydrating lip oil in watermelon sugar. That's actually one of my favorite lip oils. I think that it is so, so pretty. I do also really like the hair oil. I haven't tried the hair mask, but I've heard good things about it. The hair perfume, I'm a little bit like, I don't know if I really get the vibes of a hair perfume. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you, but Gisu is a very popular brand for their hair care products. And then again, to add in that lip oil, I think is a really nice option because I really like that lip oil. Moving over to some makeup products and lip products we have from Fenty Beauty. They have quite a few sets out. Fenty Beauty does Fenty Skin, um, the body care products. There's a lot of different sets that I've seen from Fenty Beauty. So this one is the It's Re Reseason three piece lip set. It's $50, it is a $75 value. It's a set that includes three lip products all in a mauve nude. So you get the Gloss Bomb Universal Lip Luminizer, the Fenty Icon Velvet Liquid Lipstick, and also the Gloss Bomb High Stick High Shine Gloss Stick, something along those lines. So I do actually um, have this one. So I have, I recently purchased the Traced Out Lip Liner in Thugs Blush 2, and then also the High Gloss Balm stick in the shade Riri and I do think that it is a really pretty mauve shade so this one is what Riri looks like so you also get the lip luminizer and the liquid lipstick from summer Fridays they have a handful of different sets that I saw as well this one is their signature travel skincare set so it's $42 it's a $60 value this one includes the lip butter balm and vanilla the jet leg deep hydration serum the jet leg mask which I have seen go viral in a lot of places the super amino gel cleanser and the overnight eye serum and this one comes as a like a packet of that one these look to be like again good products for like if you're on the go if you're traveling you know we have holidays coming up maybe if you're doing any traveling for the holidays Going back to some lip products we have from YSL one is I love the YSL lip products. So when I saw this set, I knew I definitely wanted to call it out. This is the Love Shine Nude Lipstick Duo Set. So it's $63 and it is a $90 value. And this has two best-selling nude shades of the YSL Love Shine, which is a buildable lipstick to oil hybrid made with six nourishing oils. So you get the shades Nude Labier, which is an iconic pink nude, and also Peachy Glow, which is a taupe nude. I think YSL has really nice lip products. They definitely are more expensive. So if you can get them in a value set, save a little bit of money, and then get them on sale, 
I think it's even better. I also wanted to point out this Makeup Forever Mini Artist Color Pencil Lip Liner and Eyeliner Kit. This one's $39. It is a $60 value. A five-piece limited edition set of the Mini Artist Color Pencils and the Lip Liner and Eyeliner Shades. So we have Anywhere Caffeine and Wherever Walnut, two of my most worn lip liners. Limitless Brown, which is a rich chocolate brown. Whatever Black is a jet black. And then All Around White, which is a white. So again, kind of lip liners and eyeliners in this set. I think that's a really cool idea. And they're the minis and you can kind of like try out the different shades. Um, this was one when I initially saw it, I thought about purchasing it, but I do have like, again, those, I have a lot of the Makeup Forever lip liners. Actually, I'm not gonna lie, I have a lot of them right here. But anywhere, um, anywhere caffeine, wherever walnut, like I said, they are two of my most worn lip liner shades. And I also really like that you get the eyeliners with them as well. I also love me some eyeliner. I'm pretty much always wearing eyeliner. So I think that's a really cool set. One that I've added to my cart, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to purchase the set or if I'm just going to purchase one full size, but I kind of had two different shades picked out of these, but these are from Ilia. It's the mini lip sketch trio, the long wearing lipstick and the long, long wearing lipstick and lip liner crayons. $34. It's a $48 value. It does also come with three mini lip crayons and a custom design sharpener. That's nice. Listen, I can't travel with all my sharpener. I did want to, I where was like Palm Springs and I was like so horrified I didn't have my sharpener. Luckily my roommate was Makeup Molly and she had one and I was like, as someone who loves lip liner and eyeliner, I was like, that is a bad thing not to have your sharpener. But the, the shades that are in here are Rhyme, no, Pink Door, which is a soft pink, Rhyme is a cool mauve, and Earthen is a terracotta brown. Okay, I'm kind of debating on these because I've had these on my wish list for a while. When I went to Maine back in September, um, my friend Angie and I hosted like our friends weekend and we did a video with everyone who came along. There was 18 girls on the trip. We did a video of what everyone would recommend at Sephora and Carissa recommended these from Ilya and she was showing them to me and I was like, okay, I'm intrigued by these. I was swatching them and then I instantly put them on my wish list and I was like, this is something that I'm going to get. But those shades do not call out to me. The shades that I had picked out, one was Genre, which is a mauve brown. And then I'm trying to think of what the other one was. Oh, Genre for sure was one of the shades that I picked out. So I'm like, do I just go ahead and purchase Genre and just do that or, and these are $26. So again, it's $34 and you get three minis. But it's like you get different shade options. See, sometimes to me, with value sets, it can always be a little bit of like, is it a mini, is it a full size? Like what's really the better value? But sometimes for me at the end of the day, I actually want more of a shade selection. Like, yes, I could get the full size or I could get smaller products, but have different shade options. So what do you do in that situation? I would love to know if you've like thought of it that way as well. And sometimes for me, I really don't mind minis because I do have a larger collection this is what I do as a full-time career, but also I know a lot of people who don't do this as a job that have really large makeup collections that maybe not always a full size is like the better option for them. Maybe a mini is better and they'll save a little bit of money, but also maybe go through a product. I don't, I'm kind of torn between if I'm going to get the set or a full size, but I'm definitely going to be picking up one or the other in the sale. That's for sure. The next up we have from Laneige. So this is actually one of their advent calendars. Okay. And I'm not gonna lie, I thought about getting this advent calendar. Do I need it? No. Not at all do I need this advent calendar. But this is Manifest Glow, Best of Laneige Advent Calendar. It's $149 and a $227 value, okay? Featuring six full-size and six mini best-selling skincare surprises. I'm intrigued by this. So it does say what it has on here. You can kind of see it from the picture, but the water sleeping mask, the boosting sleeping mask, um, there's some of the different like obviously like the lip balms, the glowy lip balms, the water banks, the moisturizers, serums. Again, do I need this at all? No, I have a lot of Laneige products. I buy a lot of them. I love the lip sleeping mask. I've tried some of their other skincare products in the past, but this to me is like so cute. And I think it would be so fun to like open one each day. And they're also products that I know that I actually go through. And then for me also, when I think of advent calendars, I definitely also do think of like Lip, you know, people that I can also send like little gifts to as well. I don't know. That one to me just has me so intrigued. 
I would love to know your thoughts on that. Have this one is like really random, but I'm gonna throw it out there. This is like hand sanitizer, but everyone goes wild over these hand sanitizers. So this is from Touchland. They do have a limited edition Power Mist Top five value set. So it's forty five dollars. It's a fifty dollar value. I don't obviously I don't really think like if you're trying to save a ton of money, this would work for you. But this is like maybe you want a hand sanitizer at your desk. Maybe you want a hand sanitizer at home. Maybe you want one in your car. Or again, maybe you just want to like slip one in. Like maybe you give your kids stockings and you're like, let me put a hand sanitizer in for when they go to college or when they're at school, put it in their locker, whatever it may be, right? This hand sanitizer seems to be very popular. So when I saw it in the set, I was like, you know what? Just gonna go ahead and point it out next up moving over into some perfume so this is a sephora save sephora favorites perfume sampler set with a redeemable voucher so sometimes with these particular sephora sets like the lip products the perfumes the mascaras you get the set and then you get a voucher where you can go in store and you can get a full size of one of the products that was in the set sometimes they do have restrictions sometimes certain ones you're not able to get i especially notice that with the perfumes but oftentimes most of the products in that set you get the full size which makes these values pretty good right so this one is $95 it's a $180 value so there's 18 sample size fragrances ranging from florals and warm and spicy to fresh citrus sets and then you do also get the full size so we have Burberry in here Carolyn Herrera Charlotte Tilbury Fenty Gucci Joe Malone Valentino Victor and Rolf, uh, Victor and Rolf, YSL Juliet has a gun Kayali has the vanilla candy in here Killian um, the replica lazy Sunday morning Nest has one in here, Fleur, Prada, The Seven Virtues, and Tom Ford. So I definitely wanted to point that out. If you are a fragrance girly, you want to try different fragrances, you know some people in your life that might want some of these fragrances as well, or if you want to get that full size. Also from Kaeli, we have the Vanilla Miniature Obsessions Perfume Set. So this one is $100. This set features all four of Kaeli's cult favorite vanilla fragrances in the 10 milliliter deluxe miniature sizes. So this one has vanilla, vanilla royale sugared patchouli, uh, utopia vanilla cocoa, and vanilla candy rock sugar. I'll say for me, I'm not a big vanilla scent kind of girl. I usually like something, like I have the Kayali invite only. That one has been on my wish list that I'm thinking of picking up in the sale. So I don't think this particular set is like for me, but wanted to point it out. I know I have a lot of fragrance lovers. Um, so I wanted to point that one out and a lot of Kayali lovers as well. And then going back over to, to um, another Sephora favorite sets, this one is the Glitz and Glam makeup set. So it's $45, it's a $115 value. This is a seven piece curated set of high impact makeup picks, including bestsellers from Laura Mercier, Glossier, and Armani. And it also comes with a really cute little bag too. So we have the Brow Freeze, we have the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick, the Glossier Cloud Paint Gel Cream Blush from Makeup Forever, one of their eyeliners, a beauty blender, makeup sponge, the Merit Signature Lip, um, the Satin Lipstick in Mauve, and that's a full size, the Armani Beauty Prisma Glass Hydrating Lip Gloss, um, the other full size is the Glossier and then everything else is a deluxe or a mini. To me, I do like to point out these sets when I'm doing these. I don't feel like this is like the best one when it comes to value or products that are inside. So it's not going to be the like tippy top one that I recommend, but uh, maybe those are all products that you've had on your wish list and you want to try out. Maybe it'll be a good set for you. Another one is the Blush and Glow Blush Makeup Value Set. So it's $65. It's a $146 value. Again, seven products in here from Makeup by Mario, the Soft Pop Plumping Blush Veil, and that's a full size. Another beauty blender from Rare Beauty, their deluxe size of their blush Enjoy. We have a mini size of the Iconic London Prep Set Glow Hydrating Glowy Setting Spray, a mini of the Basma The Cream Blush, a full size of the Glossier Gel blush as well and a full size of the merit dewy highlighting balm again okay like if you're really looking for blush and highlighting products maybe this is a, a set for you to check out but it wasn't again one of those that i was like ooh, ooh. i feel like for me when it comes to the sets this time around i feel like a lot of brands have really good ones there's still some good ones from sephora don't get me wrong but I really feel like the individual brands like really brought it this year. But another Sephora favorite set, this is the Cozy and Clean Makeup and Skincare Set, $64. It's a $192 value. This one has 10 products in here, a full size of the Kosas Plump and Juicy Lip Booster Buttery Treatment. We have mini sizes of the Necessaire Body Retinol Repair Serum, mini of the Cali Ray Blurring and Hydrating Collagen Peptide
Lipstick Primer, a full size of the Amicole Hydrating Lip Treatment. I feel like maybe someone recommended this from the Grease trip that I went on. Possibly. A full size of the LYS uh, Matte Cream Blush. We have a mini size of the Say Glowy Super Gel Lightweight Dewy Multi-Purpose Illuminator. A deluxe size of the Ilia Sketch Hydrating Lipstick and Lip Crayon, and this one is in the shade Pink Door. The deluxe size of the Hula, of the Ula Henriksen Banana Bright Glow Moisturizer, a very viral product from the past. A deluxe size of the Summer Fridays Jet Light Mask and Moisturizer, and a full size of the Merit Flush Balm Cream Blush. So this one to me is a little bit more on the interesting side. Again, not like my favorite one, I guess that I would say, but I think that's cute. You got some good options in there. Another one is the Bold and Blushing Blush and Lip Set. Again, comes with like the cute little bag in here. So $42 and it's a 119 value. So in here we have six different products. The Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm, a mini size. A mini of the Patrick Ta uh, Plumping Lip Gloss. A mini, are these all minis? No. A mini of the Pat McGrath Lip Gloss. We also have a full size of the Danessa Myricks Skin Blurring Balm Powder for cheek and lip. We have a full size of the Lawless Pinch My Cheeks Soft Blur Cream Blush in Angel, which is a nude rose, and a full size Refi Lip Blush in Wine. Sometimes some of these I feel like are a little bit tough when they have like specific shades like this, especially with like a blush, like you don't really know, is it gonna match everybody? Is it gonna be worth it to grab? So again, I just, some of the Sephora sets just, I, I feel like really the brands, I feel like the brands are where like the highlights are right now. This one from Lawless Beauty, I think this could be really popular. This is their Mary Minis Lip Plumper Gloss Trio set. It's $27, the value is going to be 45. So you get three mini of the glosses in here. We have Rosy Outlook, which is a super popular shade, Melrose, and also Bitten. The Lawless Lip Glosses are extremely popular. I have been hyping these up since they first came out years ago. I have gone through full sizes of them. I've repurchased them on my own. I have recommended them to everybody. I have gifted them to so many people. On the recent Grease trip that we did, uh, we had 13 of the girls on the trip, I think it was, share what was in their travel makeup bags, their eyeshadows, and their lipsticks. And the Lawless Lip Glosses was probably the most mentioned lip product in that video. And so many people love them. I actually put them in their gift bags as well. I bring along goodie bags to everyone who does trips with me. And a lot of people were so excited to see the Lawless Glosses. And I get it because they are fantastic. Um, another lip set we have, again, from Laneige. So maybe you don't want to do the full advent calendar. But this is the Midnight Minis Lip Set. It is $21. And you get five of the lip sleeping masks in berry, gummy bear, peach iced tea, mango, and watermelon pop. I love the lip sleeping mask sleeping masks from Laneige. They are one of my most repurchased products as well. I started trying them years and years ago, and I have gone through full sizes. I have purchased minis. I've purchased mini sets like this around holiday time. Right now I have like the pink lemonade in my set that I use in my skincare routine that I use every single night. And I love it, but I always need to point out those because I think they are so nice. And then also from Glossier, another product that I liked this more before they did the reformulation of it, but I still do like it. I bought a new one and I still do like it. From Glossier, they have a limited edition Biscotti and Espresso Balm.com Duo. So this is their lip treatment as well. It's $27 for a $32 value. Looks like these are both full sizes as well, right? It looks like they are full sizes. They're just nice lip balms. A lot of times I wear these, I'll put these on in the morning. I like to use the lip sleeping mask at night. I don't know if it's because it has the term sleeping in it, but it's really thick and the Glossier is gonna be a little bit more thin. So I like to put that on before I head out on my early morning walk. Okay, from Mary. I know their blushes are quite popular. We've seen them in a lot of the Sephora favorite sets as well. So they do have the mini flush balm cream blush trio set. It's $39. It's going to be a $56 value. There's three of the mini um, cheek colors in here, including a new limited edition shade. So we have Mood, Stockholm, and also Bespoke. I haven't tried these myself. I'm not super into cream blushes at the moment, but again, I know they're popular, so I wanted to mention them. Also from Merit, they have a lip set on sale. This is the Dress Code Lipstick Set, $58. It's a $78 value. This has three of the new Signature Lip Lightweight Lipstick Shades in three different finishes. We have the Satin Lipstick and also a Matte Lipstick and then the Lightweight Lip Blush. So we have the shades Bespoke, Black Tie, and also Du Jour. This to me is kind of interesting i do like the merit lipsticks but i haven't tried the lip like blush 
and I feel like I might like it. it. It's one of those, it's like, should I just pick up a single of that? But again, you get like the three different shades. So I'm kind of having the same thought around the Ilia. So let me know what you think about that one. But that's one that I have on the radar for myself as well. Another one from Summer Fridays that has some lip products in here, the Mini Neutrals Lip Butter Balm Set. So it's $25. You get a limited edition mini set featuring four of the lip butter balms. These come in vanilla, vanilla beige, iced coffee, and brown sugar. I actually have brown sugar on my lips today. I just paired it with the Laura Mercier Rosewood Lip Liner. But I know a lot of people love the Summer Fridays Lip Balms. Again, in the Grace trip that we did, I actually did a video where everyone shares what they would recommend for the Sephora sale since it was coming up. And I know one of the girls recommended the Summer Fridays Lip Balms. And I saw these mentioned in the makeup bags as well. Then moving back over to to some more Sephora favorite sets. We have the makeup must have sets. Again, cute bags. I like all the bags that Sephora has coming out this year. $69, it's a $189 value, and this has a 12 piece curated set of best selling makeup and skincare products. We have a full size Glossier Boy Brow, um, the gel pomade, a deluxe size of the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer, the full size Makeup by Mario uh, Soft Pop pl uh, Plumping Blush a deluxe size of the Sol de Janeiro Hair and Body Fragrance Mist, a deluxe size of the Olaplex Number no. 7 Hair Oil, a mini size of the Grande Cosmetics Lash Serum, we have a mini of the Rare Beauty uh, Luminizer Highlight and Outshine, a full size of the Tower 28 Daily Facial Rescue Spray, one of my favorite products, a mini of the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb Universal Lip Liner Lip Luminizer in Riri, full size of the House Labs PhD Hybrid Lip Glaze Plumping Gloss, and also a mini of the Paula's Choice 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. So these are a lot of best-selling products. Um, I'm thinking like the Paula's Choice is super popular, the Tower 28 is super popular. Again, we have like the Olaplex in there, the Grande Lash Serum is super popular. It's not a set that I particularly feel like I need for myself because I've tried a lot of the products in here, but it's something like if you wanted to try those, that to me looks like a pretty good set as well. And another one is the Precious Pouts lip set. So again, I'm always looking at the lip products that are coming out and the lip sets. So this is $54 and a $152 value. And this one has nine products inside. We have a mini of the Rare Beauty Lip Oil, a full size of the Makeup by Mario Plumping Lip Serum, a mini of the Fenty Lip Luminizer, the full size Sephora Collection uh, Gel Rouge Lip Liner. We also have a deluxe size of the NARS Explicit Satin Lipstick, a full size of the Glossier High Shine Lipstick, a Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump, a mini of the YSL Candy Lip Glaze, ooh, and also the uh, mini size of the Huda Beauty Lip Contour Automatic Matte Lip Pencil. This to me does look like a really cute set. I have a lot of the products, so it's not something that I would need myself or I've tried a lot of them, but like the Huda Beauty Lip Liner, I like so much to try the YSL to see if you like it, that could be good. Um, you have the NARS Lip Sip, the Tarte Maracuja lip products are a really popular item. The Rare Beauty Lip Oils, the Makeup by Mario is a full size. That was a pretty good set for $54. I feel like that's definitely a good one to have your eye on. And we also have the Holiday Hair uh, Must Haves Value Set from Sephora. $46, it's a $152 value, and this has 10 products in here. The Color Wow Extra Large Bombshell Volumizer, the Amica Cure Intense Bond Repair Mask, the Fairy, the Day Fairy Duster Dry Shampoo, the Gisu Hair Perfume, Kerastase Hydrating Hair Oil, the Living Proof Volume and Texture Spray, the Moroccan Treatment Hair Oil, the Orbe Gold Lust Transformative Mask, the Sol de, Sol de Janeiro Leave-In Conditioner, and Vegamore Leave-In Conditioner. Again, this one's $46. I think it was last year I purchased a hair set from the Sephora Favorite Sets, and I'm still using it, and I still like so many of their products. I think it's where that Amika mask came from that I have in my shower. This one is intriguing to me. The, I like Color Wow. I like the Living Proof. I like the Amika. I do like that we have um, the minis. Everything is a mini except for the full size uh, volumizer from Color Wow. But I kind of like that because I like being able, hair is one of those things that I oftentimes don't bring on vacations. If, again, if you saw the Grease Get Ready With Me and Aniela Canique Fist, Neither one of us brought shampoo or conditioner. The hotels was not great. So we went out and bought like a two in one at the market, okay? But this is like, ooh, if I could have these minis for my travel bags, that would be real nice. This is one that I'm really considering for myself. So I've seen some of these mentioned already in like the Sephora sets, but Makeup by Mario has a mini sculpt and pop on the go set. 
$30. It's mini sizes. They come in three different shades. So you get the contour and also the blush stick. So I think that could be a popular option. And I like that they have it in the three separate shades. So you can choose instead of just coming out with one set and being like, here you go. So wanted to point that one out from Makeup by Mario. From Colfi. okay. Single shadows or duos have been a hot topic lately, including like the price of them. But I saw this from Colfi and I was like, this looks cute. This is You're an Icon. It's an eyeliner and Zari Eyes eyeshadow set. So it's $35 and it's a $50 value. And it comes with this single shadow, which looks so beautiful and also an eyeliner. This is one that I put in my cart for myself and I am seriously considering about getting it because that shadow just looks so beautiful. And like I said, I'm also a fan of eyeliner. This to me looks like the perfect set. Like if you can see, like I have just a bunch of shimmer on my eyes right now and then my eyeliner, like this is a duo that I think I would get a lot of use out of. And for $35, I'm like, I don't know. I might be getting that one. I've never tried the brand of Colfi, so let me know your thoughts. From Westman Atelier, they have uh, their mini Baby Cheeks Blush Trio. $60, it's a $78 value. It's travel size blush sticks in three different shades. Again, I haven't tried these myself, but I wanted to include them in the video because I hear a lot of really good feedback on them. I've seen them in a lot of recommendations videos or really positive review videos. So I wanted to mention that if it's something that you're looking for. From Tower 28, they have their mini Lil Softies Tinted Lip Treatment Set. It's $20 and a $32 value. Again, kind of similar to like the Summer Fridays, you just have the lip treatments in here. So four little minis of this, maybe you want all of them, maybe you want to gift some, maybe you're putting, you can put together like a whole little gift bag or a goodie bag if you have like holiday visitors or anything like that. Um, that could be an idea for you, but I do like these from Tower 28. And then a few more fragrances. Let's jump into some of those. We have from Fleur the Best Sellers Mini Deluxe Perfume Trio. It's $28. And this one has the brand's favorite nude, Missing Person. The viral scent of the year is Vanilla Skin and the Lush Vivid Green Fragrance and Father Figure. Okay, so I wanted to include this. I have Fleur Mood Ring, I think is what it's called, on my wish list. My friend Angie was wearing it on the Grease trip, and I liked it so much. So I know Fleur is really um, a popular brand for fragrance. So if those have been any of the scents, I almost said shades, any of the scents that you have been thinking about, it could be an option for you at 28 to grab the three. So from Mason Margiela, the Replica Memory Box Sampler Set. $39 and it's a $57 value. This one has 10 discovery size blends. So this is, you know, the like the little minis of them, but we have lazy Sunday morning jazz club, which is super popular beach walk. This was mentioned in the grease video sailing day, autumn vibes when the rain stops. I also like that one by the fireplace is one of my favorites bubble bath. I know this is another popular one under the lemon trees and on a date. And we also have another one from the replica. This is their mini perfume coffret set. $75. It's a $99 value. This says discover a gift set inspired by precious moments of the past with five unisex fragrances, beach walk, jazz club, lazy Sunday morning by the fireplace and on a date. So if you maybe want like a little bit more of a curated set, that one from replica could be something that you could check out. And then let's see, jumping into some Fenty products. We have from Fenty Skin. Like I said, Fenty has a lot of Fenty Skin, skincare, body care, all the things. This is the Lil Butter Drops Mini Whipped Oil Body Cream Trio. $59, it's a $72 value. A limited edition body moisturizer trio. This one has in here the Whipped Oil Body Cream and Toasted Marshmallow, Salted Caramel, and Fenty Fresh. The Toasted Marshmallow has me a little intrigued. Salted Caramel, I don't know if I particularly want to smell like Salted Caramel. Like I want salted caramel ice cream, glucomata is from Greece, but I don't know if I want that in, I, mm, let me know how you're feeling about that. From Fenty Skin, we have the Fruit Quenchers Hydrating and Strengthening Lip Oil Treatment. $52, a $72 value. It's a limited edition lip, tr lip oil trio. It has Barbados Cherry, Kalari Melon, and Passion Fruit Lip Oils. I have the cherry one and I like it so much. I have recommended the, the Fenty Lip Oil multiple times. So again, you could get different shades in here. You could gift these out. But I really wanted to mention that one because I do love the lip oils. I think the price, to me personally, I just, I feel like if this was $42, it would make more sense. I know it's a $72 value, but I just feel like 52 is still like kind of high for three lip oils. I know that they're different shades and scents and all of that, but like 
that's just my personal thought. Next up we have from House Labs. This is the Color Fuse Glassy Blush Balm Stick and Powder Blush Set. $49. It's a $66 value. You get two full-size best-selling pink blushes. One is powder and one is balm. I have tried... I think it was just the powder bronzer. I don't think I've tried the blush from House Labs, but I think this is kind of a cool idea where you get the different formulas versus again, going back to the one from Kosas where it's like three of the big blushes, which is great. And like you get to try out the different shades, but I think it's cool that these are the different formulas. You could try out, you could try them together. And then also from House Labs, we have the PhD Hybrid Plumping Lip Glaze Set. $29, it's a $42 value, a full size and also a mini in here. So I wanted to point those out from House Labs. And then from Natasha Denona, okay, I, this is something I don't need at all, but for some reason I want it. I did a video recently, kind of like a new makeup releases style video. I was talking about eyeshadow palettes specifically and new ones that I'm interested in, new ones that I have, what I wanna pick up. And I mentioned the mini baby I Need a Nude. So you get three shades from the I Need a Nude palette and then also this eyeliner, it's $27. I'm wearing the I Need a Nude palette right now. And I, I'm wearing one of the shades that I mentioned in my one and done shadows from eyeshadow palettes video that I did recently. Also, thank you so much for the love on that. And I've been seeing a few other YouTubers do the video as well, which always makes me so excited. Um, you know, I said one and done eyeshadows with a twist. So I'm talking about ones in a palette. But today I put Delilah all over my lids, but then I also put Sheen on there. Sheen was another one that I said was such a beautiful one from the palette. So I just layered those two to get a really sparkly eye look. But something about this, again, I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't have any of the babies from Natasha, but this one, I'm just eyeing so much. I might end up getting it. And because of the eyeliner, I'm like, it's a maybe for me. It's a maybe for me. Uh, next up, some skincare we have from Tower 28. This is their SOS Rescue Best Sellers Kit. This was one when I was first going through the Sephora website to build my wish list and my recommendations video. I saw this and I was like, this is so good. Like, I need to tell people about this. And then that's kind of what spiraled into making this whole video. But this is $40, a $56 value, a super power trio of best sellers, including a full size SOS spray and SOS lip softy. So, again, that spray is one of my favorites. I repurchased that one myself. I've gone through multiples. The Lip Softy is really nice, and you also get the um, the Recovery Moisturizer. I think this is one that I've gone through a mini of this one from Tower 28, but they have really nice skincare products, so that's definitely one I wanted to point out. We also have from Rare Beauty, I thought this was a cute little set. This is the Mini Find Comfort Lotion and Fragrance set. It's $30, a $43 value. So inside, you get the Hydrating Body Lotion as a mini, and also the Find Comfort um, perfume. So Rare Beauty came out with uh, some really nice uh, body care products. They also came out with a candle. I thought it would have been so dope if a candle, even a mini candle, would have been included in this because that, that Rare Beauty candle smelled so, so good. But still, if you've been wanting to try some of those types of products from Rare Beauty, you could maybe get this in the value set at $30. Okay, I think that is going to be everything. Nope, I lied to you. We have, let's finish off with one thing that I thought was a super strong set that I might get for myself as well. It's another Sephora favorite set, and this is a mascara one. It's their Holiday Lash Dash To Go mini mascara set with the redeemable voucher. So you can get one full size mascara out of here. So it's $28 and it is a $47 value. Inside you get the Tarte XL Tubing Mascara. To me, that is, that is the mascara that I would get. I love that mascara. I'm actually just getting ready to put mine in my empty spin because I need to say goodbye to it. That's one of my favorite mascaras right now. So right away, I'm like, that, that's a mascara that I would get. So we love that. There's also, these are all minis. The Grande Lash Grande Mascara. The Benefit Fan Fest, which is really nice. The Milk Makeup Rise Lifting and Lengthening, really nice. The Lancome Lashy Doll, really nice as well. This is a solid mini set. Again, perfect for travel, on the go. Maybe you just wanna try a mascara. And then you get the full-size mascara. I wanna see what the Tarte XL mascara, I wanna say 27, 24, $27, yep, $27. So if I bought that set for 28, I get that mascara, I get four others, and then I get the full size. So that is how we are going to end it because I think that is a great deal and that's probably again something that I'll purchase myself. A lot of times I do purchase these mascara sets. Mascara is something that I go through pretty quickly so to me I find more value in purchasing these than something like the lip set where I don't go through the lip products as quickly. But that is everything that I wanted to go through for the Sephora holiday and value sets that are out right now. I think there's a lot of really good ones from Sephora to the individual brands. Let me know what you're getting. Remember the sale is coming up on November 1st. Leave what you want 
lot in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.